Our job spills over into every piece of our life and well-being. We help save lives. That's huge of importance within our profession of environmental health and safety. You're protecting people. How good is that? Like, how good does that make you feel? Work placement opportunities for occupational health and safety professionals is expected to grow over the next few years. As a result, it's more important than ever before to be preparing the future generation to meet this demand. Through research, education, and practical application, the Department of Safety Sciences at Indiana University of Pennsylvania is actively preparing students for a rewarding and exciting career. As one of the first safety programs in the nation, faculty, staff, and alumni at Indiana University of Pennsylvania pride themselves on the extensive hands-on training and preparation students receive. So our vision is to be the premier institution for education and research, and to be the program of choice for industry partnerships in the global safety, health, and environmental arena. It's an arena that's expanding into diverse industries. Such as construction, manufacturing, oil and gas, insurance, healthcare, government, academia, consulting. And IUP's safety science graduates are having an impact in those areas and more. We place students um, at SpaceX and we have students working in Tesla, General Motors, Pepsi Company. We have students at Anheuser-Busch. We have students working for some national um, and international construction companies. I had no idea that this field was so diverse, that it had so many opportunities to do really what I'm passionate about. And it shows when she mentions her EHS manager job title. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> Music to the ears of researchers and professors focused on educating the next generation. It is what drove me to come to teach here. Combining real-world experience with lessons taught in the class and lab to obtain real-world impact. And we apply it. Typically, every couple of weeks, we're going to have a class where we do a scenario, where I give them a real-life scenario. Typically, what I've already done, been on a job site, or I may have an active job site, that I ask them questions about, how are you going to approach this problem? And enthusiasm for the work that is clearly infectious. Oh my gosh, I, I, I love it exists. Research critical to protecting workers against physical, chemical, and ergonomic hazards. The whole research is focused on problems in the, in the workplace, in the world, in the globe around us. Uh, for example, when we talk about musculoskeletal disorder in the ergonomic field, 30% of these incidents or injuries are musculoskeletal disorder, MSDs. Former students vividly remember the hands-on lab experiences. And loved it so much, I decided to come back in 2011 for my master's. For others, coming back onto campus after working for several years is more nostalgic. I remember walking these halls as a young safety professional, not really knowing where I would be in the next five years. And here it is five years later, and I'm overseeing a site of 1,400 people running my own safety department. Help getting that first job through career fairs, summer co-ops, and internship opportunities are what some recall most. They hired me on full time uh, within just a few weeks of my internship. Graduates in the ever-evolving health and safety field help keep the institution up to date with current industry demands by serving on the Safety Sciences Advisory Committee. So just another way that we can take the needs of industry and bring it back to the university to make sure that when students come out of this program, they're best prepared for their future employers. Staying on top of new research and initiatives that bring challenges and offer greater opportunities. As it relates to things like robotics, uh, nanotechnology, wearable technology, and those advancements um, are opening up doors for opportunities for us in the areas of safety and areas of research. Published research from students is helping keep workers safe, including work on the combined effect of autotoxins and noise leading to greater hearing loss. The fact that it was a synergistic relationship, not just an additive effect, I think that was extraordinarily that increased our body of knowledge and that's research coming out of here and that's for the next generation that's moving us forward as professionals professionals staying on top or even ahead of trends and working together so students can hit the ground running 
So we have all these mechanisms to help keep all three of our programs, the BS, the MS, or the PhD, current and applicable for the, for the professionals that are going out the door. We want to continue to do what we do and we want to really do it well. And, and we're still learning. 